Hello and welcome to part two of my tutorial series on how to model a human head in Blender. Now, in this, in this part, we're going to model the mouth, the lips, to be precise. Uh, but before we do that, why don't I just go in and uh, select a few of these vertices on the nose and move them a little bit because they are uh, not pleasing me at the moment. I'll do this from time to time in this series. Because not only do I want you to learn about, you know, face modeling and stuff like that, but I also want you to be able to have a good result at the end of this, something that you would be proud of. And so I want you, yeah. So let's move these up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so in front view, let's position our 3D cursor around there. Uh, to make things easier on ourselves when we model the mouth, we're not gonna be focusing on any other part of this picture right now. So N to bring up our panel and under the background image, we're gonna move it up on the Y axis a little bit, uh, just one unit, 0.1, uh, so that when our 3D cursor is on the crease in the mouth on the right, it is also on the crease on the mouth on the left. And so that just makes things easier on us. Um, the reason I didn't do that before is because the eyes are not perfectly aligned, uh, but from time to time we will just manually line them up like that uh, so that when we're just focusing on one part of the mesh, it will make things easier on us. Okay, so center your 3D cursor on the lips, Shift A, add in a circle. Make sure that th there are eight vertices on it. And okay, rotate it on the X axis. Tab in edit mode and box select these guys. And delete the vertices and add in a mirror modifier. Enable clipping, Go into, press Z to go into wider frame. And let's begin. So the shape of the mouth is pretty simple. Uh, it only really consists of I don't know, a couple major places that you have to keep in mind. You have this little crease right here where the lips go down, and you have the edges of the lips. A big mistake that you can make is to make uh, a vertice right here and try to shape it that way. That is fine in some cases. You can go back later and add in more detail that way, but uh, I have had uh, a lot of problems trying to make mouths with a vertice right there. So I find if you just omit it, then you'll be better off. So so we lined everything up in the front view. Let's go into the side view and do what we need to do. I'm using as few vertices as possible. Eight is all we have right now. Uh, that's really all you need to define all the vertices that you need to define the shape of the mouth. Um, but we will go and add in a little more vertices when we need to. So press E to extrude with everything selected, size it down, and we're just gonna use these vertices to give our mouth some shape. Drag the corner vertices back to the corner and drag the bottom lip there. this type of shape. So you can see here, we're gonna need a edge loop right here. So control R, add in a ring and move it. You might need one here, so control R. Again, I'm trying to keep as little vertices as possible. That's fine. Uh, let's do control R across now, across all these vertices to make one that will allow us to define some smoothness to it. So deselect the corner vertices and drag the lips out. You can drag this one out, not as much. The top lip should not be as curved as the bottom lip. The bottom lip is fuller than the top lip in most cases, or at least in this model's case. And 
By the way, this model I got off of 3D.sk.com. It was under their free free resources section. So if you're wondering, that's where I got this model from. The download link for this reference image, if for some reason you don't have it already, uh, is in the description for the first video of this tutorial series. So I don't have to describe every step I'm doing here, I hope, uh, but you can see I'm just shaping the mouth to fit it. And every once in a while I'll go into perspective mode and look at it and we need to drag these out and also these, drag these in on the Y axis. Drag this middle one in. And that looks fine for now. Okay, so those are almost completed. I'm just going to edit it a little bit more. Let's look at it here. It's looking fine. Uh, back here. Okay, so I guess that's it for the lips. Um, later, we can make a mouth cavity. I see here that we have some openings here that I don't like. Uh, we can later make a mouth cavity with teeth or anything of that sort if we wanted to, but we don't have to. Uh, it's a good idea to make a mouth cavity. Um, maybe I'll go through it in this tutorial series. But okay, thank you for watching this second part of the tutorial series, and this is how to build lips.